Hi, my name is Carrie Weber. I'm an associate editor for America Magazine. And today we're talking about new records made available by the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Two-year-old Antoine Joseph was baptized on May 6, 1798. He was brought by his mother, a slave woman named Manon, and his godparents, Marie Joseph and Antonio, to St. Louis Cathedral in New Orleans. The child's name is just one of many names in the baptismal records of slaves and free people of color in the archives of the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Five registers from these records, previously available only in the archives, are now available online. The archives launched the records on their website to coincide uh, with February 1st, the start of Black History Month. The online records can be difficult to decipher, and their transference from the paper records to online was a painstaking and somewhat expensive process, but it is a worthy one. In naming these individuals, the Archdiocese hoped to recognize the integral role of African American Catholics in building the city of New Orleans and the church, and to make personal the lives of thousands of otherwise anonymous slaves. It was also a chance for Archbishop Gregory Amond to offer an apology on behalf of the church for the fact that the church and some religious orders at the time owned slaves. The publication of these records is also a small but worthwhile step toward the transparency many long for in the church today. It is a reminder that, although the church may move slowly, it is also an institution capable of admitting, of admitting its wrongs, learning from the past, and moving forward with grace. This is Carrie Weber for America Magazine.